This is going to be a video on the Canadian C-spine rule, a screening tool to detect fractures in the cervical spine. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. After blunt trauma to the head, it is essential to screen for fractures, dislocation or ligamentous instability in the cervical spine, which would require a specialist follow-up with possible surgical intervention, as these injuries can have fatal consequences, ranging from spinal cord injury to death if they are not detected. The Canadian C-spine rule is a clinical decision rule that's used to safely rule out cervical spine fractures in alert, stable patients without the need of radiographic imagery. A review by Mika Leff et al. from 2012 found values of sensitivity ranging from 90 to 100% and specificity ranges from 1 to 77%. So, first you want to clear any high-risk factors, which would mandate radiography. Radiography is indicated for patients who are 65 or older, patients who have paresthesias in the extremities or if the trauma had a dangerous mechanism, which are 1. Falls from more than 3 feet of height or 5 stairs, 2. Axial load on the head such as during diving, 3. A motor vehicle accident at high speeds, which is more than 100 km per hour or 60 miles per hour, rollover accidents or being ejected from the vehicle. 4. An accident using motorized recreational vehicles or 5. Which is a bicycle accident. If these factors are not present, check if the following low risk factors apply, allowing safe assessment of range of motion. These are 1. The accident was a simple rear-end collision. Be aware these exclude being pushed into oncoming traffic or when being hit by a truck or bus or at high speeds, as well as rollover accidents. 2. The patient is able to sit in the emergency department. 3. The patient is ambulatory at any time. 4. There was a delayed onset of neck pain, meaning there's no immediate neck pain after the trauma. 5. There is no tenderness over the midline at the cervical spine. If these do not apply, refer out for radiographs. Otherwise, continue by asking the patient to actively rotate the neck. If they are not able to rotate 45 degrees left and right, refer out for radiographs. Are they able to do so? Then no radiographs are needed. Okay, this was our video on the Canadian C-spine rules. Maybe continue by watching more videos from our Clinometrics playlist. And as always, if you like what we do on this channel, check the link in the description how you can support us. You can also follow us on various social media networks like Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. Links are in the description down below. And as always, this was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I'll see you next time. Bye.